All right, today at The Lost Toys, we have a special guest who probably needs no introduction, but we'll introduce him anyway. It's Eris Quinones from yes. Variant Comics. Hello, all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Celebrities. Who's going to be in here next? I know. It's exciting, right? Today, we are going to review the uh, brand new Flash Icons figure that we have in the store. Which are very cool. They're like DC Collectibles highly articulated action figures. So wow. They're like six, six inch scale, right? Six inch? I think they, they say six inch, but they don't. Seem to quite there. measure up. Yeah, that's like yeah. like a guy that says he's six feet tall, but he's really like five ten. <laughs> it's supposed to be on par with like Marvel Legends, though. It's yeah, like the idea. yeah. And I so they come with accessories and interchangeable. Yes. Well, the yeah. Flash particularly comes mm -hmm. with a pretty cool accessory. Do you guys know what it is? The cosmic treadmill. That's right. And what is that? What is that used for? Um. Well, if people are watching the Flash show, which I'm sure everyone is, it's you know. I know we are. <laughs> I know we are. Yeah. To test his speed and all that good stuff. So what makes it cosmic? No, dude, the cos—that's not what it's for. The cosmic. I said it. I said it. In the oh, show. okay. I was about to. I said it in the show. Of course. Using it yeah. Jeez. Is he testing me to see if I know? <laughs> I think so. But no, man. That, let's let's let Matt tell what the cosmic <laughs> treadmill is. It's for time travel. <laughs> Although they're going to do that in the show, though. Because they use this in your favorite we'll Flash storyline, the Return of Barry Allen. Of course. Remember the isn't a uh, Thawn finds that like in the antique shop and like strangles the dude. Yes. Is it the antique shop or was it in the Flash Museum? No, dude, he like finds it, it an in an shop? antique shop and he tries to buy it and the dude won't sell it to him. So he strangles the guy and that was the first person he ever killed. Nice. So while you guys are chatting. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dang. I'm just going to see how highly articulated he is. Okay. I'm trying to make him run. So, so what else does he come with? Some things. extra hands? He comes with, yeah. yeah he's got a, a cool little opened running hand. I like here. those because he looks like he might chop you. Yeah, right. Or <laughs> or put his hand okay, through your. You, <laughs> you try. And then it's this. Or I'm put his hand through your chest <laughs> like uh, Thawne. So it's cool. He's got like the double jointed uh, knees. Let's see. How does this? Uh, so Eris, you collect a lot of the DC collectibles. How does this measure up against some of the other ones? This is like fantastic, especially arc articulation wise. It's like the best because I collect a lot of the DC Direct stuff or. This is technically DC Direct, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's a different... This is them trying to just kind of do better, kind of copy the Marvel Legends yeah. template. So, there's him running. Nicely done. Boom. Pretty good, Very man. Nicely done. He's about to go back. And that definitely shows his He's go back to 1985 and convince his mom to fall in love with him. <laughs> so, pretty cool, man. I really like the little uh, touch that it comes with the Cosmic Treadmill. I think that's really, really sets this figure apart. How does this measure up, do you think, to the... Oh, hold on a second. We'll pause and we'll grab the uh, the DCUC figure. So here's the uh, Icons Flash next to the DCUC, the DC Universe Classics Flash. Um, they're both... I mean, the, the, first off, the DC Universe Classics Flash is a great figure. It so, is really good. Yeah, it's a solid figure. Yeah, they definitely like measure up. I will say, though, for me personally, I like the DC collectibles because they're... They seem to be more more comic accurate. It yeah, because they're all each one is a, is a storyline, right? It's based on a story. Yes, line. this one and it says it on the side of the box actually. Like this one is Chain Lightning, which is weird because Chain Lightning is Wally. Wally West. Yeah, yeah. So, is, <laughs> so it's a little strange, but still a great figure. Um, what do you think, Rachel? How does that measure up? Uh, the articulation isn't quite as good. Um, if you look at some of the details, like it's just a little rough here by comparison to this. This is just really perfectly sculpted. It it's yeah. definitely takes it up a notch. It's mm -hmm. still, a, this is a definitely a solid figure, but th I think this one is slightly better. I think the price point. What were the DC Universe Classics when they came out? Weren't they fifteen? I think they were fifteenth. So five dollars more, and you get much better figure. Well, still. Well, you, you, get get cool cosmic you get a cosmic treadmill. <laughs> yeah, I know. So you're paying five bucks for the treadmill. Because that was the thing with uh, the DC Classics. That yeah. They didn't really have like swapping heads or hands or anything like that. We usually have like a one accessory and like a Build-A-Figure piece or something. Yeah. So, pretty cool, right? Very cool, How does yeah. it Does it pass, fail? It passes. It's one of my favorite Flash figures. Actually, yeah, now. I think so yeah. too. I have to agree. Rachel, it's pass, fail? Definitely pass. Sweet. Looks like he's going back. To the future! <laughs>